Hey, what's going on guys? I'm going to do another book review. This is The Mandalorian Guide to Season 1. Alright, so I'm going to very quickly explain who this video is for. If you're watching this video, um, you probably have some sort of interest in this magazine. It is just a magazine, it is not a book. It's flexible. Um, this is for people who are into prop building and possibly cosplay. Uh, the written content in this is not something I'm going to review. Um, honestly, I find most magazines, the written content to be just kind of dribble. Um, it's usually just like obvious low bar kind of writing, you know, um, it's, it's nothing usually you, you really are going to care about. So let me, I'll give you a quick example. The child, we're on page 32. We're t reading, uh, the child may be tiny in size, but his heart is big as a mud horn. Deeply grateful to the Mandalorian for having rescued him, the critter develops a strong affection for the gunfighter. That's the kind of stuff you find in magazines. Um, I'm not a fan of it, um, but the photos are decent, so let's, let's get in here, let's take a look. Um, real quick, I just want to mention, though, uh, I will have a link to this in the description. It is an affiliate link. If you click on it, you buy it, I might make a few cents. Um, this was not terribly expensive. I think it's like $12, $13, and then I had to pay taxes because I bought it at the big store, so it wound up being closer to... Fifteen dollars is like fourteen and some change. So um, you can probably still find it in your local bookstore as well. So you could do that um, if you want to flip through it yourself. Uh, I'm going to quickly flip through this one and show you guys uh, kind of what I'm talking about. Okay, here's the cover. This is a magazine, so it's going to be a little shiny. We might get glares on there. I'm going to try to lift and get the glares out as much as I can. But we have a lot to go through. Well, not a lot, but you know, you know. We're going to go through it. Anyways, this is the cover. Got a Baby Yoda on it. We got Mando up in the corner. Spine. Back cover. Let's open it up. Got a nice photo of Mando there. A little heavily processed. This is going to have, you know, a lot of backstory kind of building up to the Mandalorian. What I do love about this, and I am a sucker for it, is concept art. Um, just, I love the concept art in this. Um, I love concept concept art in general. And kind of towards the beginning, we got a lot of concept art. Like this is just. That's just awesome. I'm going to kind of flip through this concept art stuff because that is not terribly useful if you're trying to build a replica prop. But we do have some good shots here. There's a big photo of the helmet. Decent shot of the early armor. That, that pendant, which I have. This, this pendant, I picked it up from the artist who actually made the real thing for the show. It's pretty sweet, so that's a one-to-one. -one. Always love the one-to-ones. Got a pile of helmets there. Potentially a useful um, photo for somebody. Got the parents. We got some good shot of their, their greaves there and their clothes. Some of the other Mandalorians. You can see the child's softball armor there <laughs> which was discovered good old mando yeah we just got some various shots of baby yoda with mando mando and his older armor i'm surprised i haven't seen anybody make these uh these guys right here these i don't know if that's the tracker or if that's the i think it's the bombs
just uh, got some great shots. Some early helmets. God, that'd be so cool to see in person. Like them shooting this. I would just love to be on set. That'd be so cool. God, look at that. What a great shot. Everybody's favorite, yodeling. <laughs> Got some mud horn. This is really cool. You can see all the cables and for controlling them. All the armature work there that's underneath. Then there's another one right there where you can see the puppeteer working. That's really cool. See his buckle, which I think is actually a, a knife. I think somebody found. Got the tracker thing there. Got the uh, torch there, microflame torch. Some good shots of IG eleven there. Cara Dune. It's like the Dylan, you son of a bitch shot. <laughs> Predator fans will get that one.
Oh, I love the sand crawler. It's so cool. Did a really good job with the planet design. Look at that. Poor Razorcrest. Spoiler alert. These look more like renderings. So I don't know how much I want to take them for reference. Huh. Yeah, the speeder is great. I got a big wide shot of that. That's great. Big promo photo. That's the artwork, artwork. And that's it. All right, that's it for the review and flip through of this Mandalorian season to, or guide to season one, if I could talk. Um, I think it has good reference photos. It's not expensive, which is nice. Um, I don't think there's a ton of like in-depth photo reference books available for The Mandalorian. I think there's like a couple, but like nothing really geared towards our community. So picking up these little things here and there, there's, there's a couple magazines and I feel like there's a, some, you know, galaxy, or I, I can't remember what they're called, the books that kind of try to explain what everything is. They kind of break everything down. Usually they kind of have some small photos here and there and they're trying to tell you some made up bs trying to expand the universe <clears throat> there's those but um i don't find those terribly useful myself um like i said there will be a amazon affiliates link in the description helps me out doesn't cost you a thing um let me know what you think of this um if you pick it up do you like it do you not like it um, I love The Mandalorian, so this is right up my alley. I would like to see the Season 2 guide when it comes out. Um, it might already be out. I'll have to check. <laughs> Anyways, that's going to be it for this video or this review. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.